Hello, this is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. Uh, oh, this is November the 1st, 2018. Uh -huh. I'm going to turn this right over to Vegas. Hi, everyone. It is November. I can't believe it. We've closed off the dreadful month of October. And let me tell you, it was dreadful. So I'm really happy, <coughs> excuse me, that November is here. And I anticipate a much better month than what we've had. So the stocks we're going to talk about today is SLS, Ears, Sting, ABIO, NLNK, and just a follow-up on TRPX. So let's start with SLS. Now, SLS is for Cellus Life Sciences Group, and that stock was a beautiful trade. Uh, the volume was over 20 million shares traded so far, opened up at 147 today, had a low of 136. I was able to get into that one at 141, and that ran beautifully to 193, and then it pulled back. Uh, it's pulled back to about 168 now. I'll let Jim talk about the chart in a second, but just to mention, this had an upgrade today by Oppenheimer, and they're saying that the target on this one is $13. So longer term hold traders are looking to hold this longer term in maybe a investment account based on that. Um, me personally, SLS, in terms of trading this, I'm looking for a target of 245 plus, maybe no more than 250 at this point. Uh, in the shorter term uh, coming sessions. And then I'll just let Jim talk about what he sees on the chart coming next. Jim? Yep. So this is SLS. We called this right out of the gate this morning. I'm pulling up a year's chart up here. We went past the 50 SMA at 120 and run right into the uh, 100 SMA at 175 today and then pulled back. We had a high almost to two dollars, if I remember right, pretty pretty close to our target. So I'm going to pull up uh, a twenty day chart, and these are what I'm looking at right now. I'm trying to draw me a few. I kind of cleared the drawing set to start fresh here. So we got a pullback right about one twenty nine would be your low support. We got one thirty seven, and at go ahead and bounce on up that 156 so we hit a high today of around 193 and we pulled back and we're sitting here right at support at 166 right now and that's what I'm looking at so this is SLS keep this on a good watch I'm gonna pull up just a daily and show you what the daily looked like today it was a very nice breakout after hours last night we had a high of right around 170 pulled back right here to support at 137 and broke up to 193 so we're sitting here at a good support at 166 and we'll see what happens tomorrow that's SLS okay and next one I'm going to talk about is ears RS medical holding uh, we did talk about this one if you guys remember uh, we talked about this one as a swing trade idea and I kind of liked the fact that it had kind of pulled away and was looking for this to reverse. And you know what? Today was a great day with ears. I mean, even if you didn't take the swing from earlier in the call that we shared earlier in the week, um, you know, the stock opened up beautifully today at 64 cents, ran as high as 98. I mean, it's been a great uh, trade so far. And Jim can tell us what he sees forthcoming on this beautiful chart and this beautiful setup. Yeah, we run real good today. We, I mean, we come from a bottom low of around 64 cents. I think right out, out of the gate, it opened up at around 65, 66. So it bounced on up past my resistance line of 67, 68, which Vegas and I have been calling support. And that's right where the 58, 50 SMA is. So it bounced on up and hit a real good solid resistance up here, right around 95 cents. And we called this all the way up in the room and I called maybe a I think I called a pullback on this around 82 let me pull this up on a daily ears is one of our favorites we we're up and down on it we had a great pullback on it 
and I think we're, we're rebounding from that pullback at 63 cents. So we had a high of 98, just two cents off our target. So we're going to keep a good eye on ears. It's still bullish. Any kind of playback, pullback would be good. And we'll, we'll just keep her on watch. But it's we're definitely bullish on this stock, and we've been bullish, what, for a month and a half at least, Vegas? Oh, yeah. We've been in and out of that one. But recently, we said it was a good bottom play. So congratulations to our YouTubers that watch, follow, and subscribe. Yeah, I picked up that one. I'm going to throw a surprise in here. I picked up a little bit of uh, HSGX at th 53, and we're at 54 right now. So I'm going to throw that one in there, and that's HSGX. I picked some up at 53 after hours. Okay, and since we're talking about HSGX, I mean, I just want to mention they did have news uh, after hours, and the news was that you know, they're obviously into the restorative cell therapies for pain relief. And uh, they actually had a meeting was held with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, known as obviously the FDA. And at the meeting, uh, the results from the phase three clinical trial and the potential for the submission of a license application known as a biologic license application was discussed. The FDA and histogenics continue to discuss the clinical data generated to date and the need for any additional supplemental data, which could include longer term data for the ongoing phase three trial and potential alternative pathways for the BLA to be accepted. So what needs to be understood here is that the FDA has not made a final decision regarding a BLA submission. And based on feedback from the FDA, HSGX intends to provide a further update on these negotiations by the end of November. So what's happening right now is there was a lot of people that you know read this and they thought, oh, this is crap now. And they started dumping shares. So uh, you know what? Smart move of Jim to catch the knife. And uh, we'll see what happens in the next few weeks on HSGX. Yep. Yeah, I'm up two cents a share on it already. Three cents make well, that. Well, there you go. There you go. I think it's great that you took advantage of the uh, dip there. Okay, Sting. Oh. That's the okay, next Okay, so Sting, Scorpio Tankers. So Scorpio Tankers, the reason this caught my attention, actually, was I did like the nice volume that actually was presented in the stock today. And, you know, this company also has an office in uh, New York and uh, they, you know, deliver petroleum on these large ships that they have. So Scorpio tankers, over 14 million shares traded today. Uh, major buys. I saw the tape had a, an order of 100,000 shares and another one uh, later in the day after hours at 203,000 shares being bought at 189. So I think we can expect a potential continuation on Scorpio tankers. And I'll just let Jim talk about what he sees on that chart. Yeah, what I'm seeing on this chart, Sting, I'm going to pull up a year's chart on it. I'm seeing that we just recovered. We just hit the 50 SMA today at 189 which was really a bottom support right around 182 that I'm looking at on a yearly, not counting the oversold sell-off we had down here at 148. So let's look at a support between 180, 182. Let's see if we can go ahead and bring this up to the next level, which would be right around 199. And then we're going to got a little spot here at 203, and then we're going to bring it up to about to where the 100 SMA is. Close to 213. That's going to be our target for right now. And this will be Sting if it pulls back 171 at the low. So there you are, okay. Sting. All right. And as we speak, HSGX, 58 cents. Good <laughs> job. 59. Okay. I'm so go ahead and next sell it. one is uh, ABIO. ABIO, which is for Arca Biopharma. Uh, just to keep this one on a watch, I have it as an active swing trade. And uh, this one is of interest only because they are looking to have this 
uh, some sort of potential FDA news is supposed to be coming. Last time they did talk about uh, FDA news, it was back in, um, I think back in September. And what they said back then uh, was that they would have an update on this particular uh, situation with the FDA. So they did a protocol assessment and the news came out in September, September 18th. And they said that the FDA has 45 days to review and that the news should be out. Um, we're targeting, we're thinking maybe tomorrow could be some news. So if we don't hear anything tomorrow on ABIO, we might be able to hear something on the assessment with the FDA. And I guess we'll know more details, maybe, if not tomorrow, then stay tuned for something like next week. Sounds so good keep to me. On watch. Okay, and what do you think about the chart, Jim? I'm liking the chart. I'm, I'm looking at, uh, at it right now, and I, I think we just hit the 50 SMA. We're going to run it on up. We're going to hit around 217. It's going to be the going to be the 100 SMA, so that's going to be our target, right around 218 for right now. And that's ABI. Okay. Or that Sting, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jim's not. He's all over the... Yeah, I just got out of uh, that other of trade. Of so Alright, that's alright. It looks good, though. <laughs> let's uh, start all over next, again. Next Eight. one is uh, NLNK. NLNK. That's the one. And uh, N. L N K. Okay. That one there uh, was triggering earlier today on scanners. Oh my. And uh, that one's called New Link Genetics Corporation. So the setup was there on the chart, but the other reason it was triggering too is that N L N K um, announced today that they have an abstract with data pertaining to the use of the company's investigational immuno oncology molecule which is really a therapy for people with um, new, newly diagnosed uh, acute myeloid leukemia. So they will be joining other companies that you will hear about in the coming weeks. The conference will be in San Diego, California, towards the first week of December, December 1st until the 4th. It's an annual ASH conference, and that stands for the American Society of Hematology. So... Based on that, they're going to be updating the phase one data. And, uh, you know, what really excites me really is phase two. But uh, phase one still is very important. You can't have a phase two without a phase one. So there is some activity on this particular stock. And, uh, Jim, what are you thinking of that chart? Well, I'm really liking the bottom of it. We had a bottom today, yesterday at 186. So this is NLNK. And I'm seeing a nice little pattern up we got the the 100 sma which is right around 242 we closed at a high today of 227 i'm going to magnify this up a little bit but i'm seeing a nice little rebound maybe if we can take it up to the to the where the 100 is that's where the the end of the gap is at 331 so we got a nice little climb up here i'm going to keep definitely keep in lk in, uh, NLNK on watch and we'll just see how this thing turns out tomorrow but I'm liking it we had a like I said a 52 week low yesterday and we bounced up off that low so That's this is right. the first day of the breakout okay and I can see here as we're talking I'm watching Apple and it looks like Apple had some not such great news on the earnings because the stock had a high of 222 today and it's pulling back here at 214 84 as oh, we man. speak that's so that right. would have been a really good knife catch there on that's, apple that's right where i kind of called i had a trend line here at 214 for a pullback but i noticed we hit 210 21055 low that could have been another knife catch for profitability right there that's two of them and, and all week it's been like that and it, you know earnings they're if you don't have all day to trade you can pop in here right after hours and, and get in on some of these knives that happen on some of these stocks. I figured Apple would do this and I was right. So Vegas, you still there? 
Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. Last but not least, just wanted to close off with our swing trade. We talked about this fabulous Israeli company that's um, having a deal with a Canadian company where the Canadian company is going to take over. Um, and as you can see, TRPX, uh, since we talked about it the other day, uh, is moving along quite nicely. So we talked about this when it was like 588. And you can see now it's around 680, uh, 675 ish. So it's had a nice move, almost a dollar a share. So just keep that one on watch because when that deal closes, uh, anticipate a much higher move on the stock. So if you're not in it, keep a watch or take a starter. It's up to you what you're doing, but just keep it on watch. Now we did call us to this resistance here at 686. I have it charted up here. <laughs> the next one's going to be right around. 712. So this can pull back. It can pull back a little bit to 660 to 644 maybe. Maybe cut half that uh, breakout today in half for another rebound pickup. So let's keep an eye on TRPX. We charted this out pretty good. We had our, our dollar run on it. And let's see if we can get a little pullback to support level right around 660 or 644. And then bounce on back up to this resistance which is a hard resistance at 686 now if this catches on it can all go ahead and run up to 759 so this is TRPX keep it on watch okay and you know what guys uh, I think that's a lot of different stocks to keep on watch because a lot of them are continuation or what that were for a swing trade so keep this in mind. Tomorrow is Friday. So, you know, Fridays have been really good in the past. And, you know, we're in November. So I am going to anticipate a busy Friday. So on that note, just want to thank you all for following and subscribing. Appreciate you all. And we hope that um, you will share our videos or tell other people about it. We have hearing some great feedback that uh, we've been quite helpful to so many people. And that's really the purpose of doing the videos. So thank you all so very much. And have an amazing night. And Jim, anything else to add before we go? Yeah. Um, after hours, when I was on here, I went ahead and I flipped HSGX. I got right down in, in here at 53 cents. It pulled back a little bit once we started the video or the aftermarket report. And then it bounced on all the way up to this 50 SMA. And that's where I decided to go ahead and sell it at. So I got in at 53 and out at 59 in a matter of, of seven to eight minutes and made me got 2,000 shares and made $120. Just Ooh, I like that. I, love these, <laughs> I just love these He's knives after money. hours. He's making money while we're recording a show. Yep. Like, Seed washboard gym just never skips a beat. Never. I like it. I it like it. Kind of shook me up when we were talking about ABIO. I was talking about Sting chart with... <laughs> So that That's was okay. Foul up there. Well, but, Jim just only has ten screen guys. Yeah. So this but, is set up. This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. Vegas loves stocks. Yes. I love stocks. We all love stocks. Keep it fresh and keep it simple. And have a great day.